Well, I started off in business um, 1st of July 96 and it was only in a very small way obviously, started off myself and then gradually built the business up. We really only got into gravel work and with traction diggers and probably in the last 10 years and expanded lots with the Kaikoura earthquake around here and then we see the need for getting our own gravel source. We bought a crusher first and we were crushing gravels, gra gravel out and we did contract crushing also and then we could see the need of getting our own source of gravel to sustain the business for future years to come and also uh, a site for doing, getting a lot of clean fill. So this site that we're standing at here has got a resource consent for gravel extraction and also got a re separate resource consent running parallel with it for clean fill to be put back in and reestating the land back to the farmland again. So in here we've got about 40 hectares and um, go down to a depth of between two and three cubic metres, uh, two or three metres deep, and we extract that gravel out and a cell by cell at a time, bring it into this quarry here for processing, and it gets carted into town once it's processed, and then we bring gravel out of town, bring clean fill out of town, which we store up here, and it goes back into the hole and uh, leveled out, and we'll, we'll cover it with topsoil and return it into farmland again. Purchased a truck off Joe Hart about 15, 20 years ago. We've still got that truck. Um, purchased a digger off from a, quite a few years ago, which we sold that digger. But in recent times, we bought a second-hand crusher through them, not actually off them, it was, through, it was through them. And then we sold that to another firm in Blenheim, and we bought this new crusher last year. And then we also bought a brand new screening plant off them last year too. So the main products um, we get out of this quarry is obviously um, the APs, we've got the AP65, AP40, AP20. We also make our drainage chip and our um, crusher dust out of this quarry by utilising the K4 screen. Yeah, so we've got the uh, K4 sitting in front of um, or behind the R3. Um, we bought them both last year off Equip2. Um, and then to complement them with the, eth the extraction, um, we've got a 35 tonne Hitachi and a Komatsu 30 tonne dumper. It's uh, predominantly based here at the Spray River Flats Quarry. Yeah, so obviously um, crushing was a new game for us. Um, so we, there was a lot to learn, there's a lot to learn. Um, there are a lot of moving parts in the crushers as everyone would know. Um, and so obviously starting off with crushing concrete was a challenging start. Um, but I'd have to say a shout out to Equip2, they've been by our side. We have um, had some times we didn't know where to turn and um, always a phone call to Bert or Robin and they've been um, a couple of times now they've jumped on the plane and come down and um, helped us out get through the challenges. Um, but yeah, we have had our challenges to get it set up but um, obviously we're over, we feel like we're over them now and we're really thankful for the support we've had equipped to at our side. We did um, do our research before we went and brought Keys Track gear we feel that they're um, superior with what um, we've, we, as I spoke earlier, we hired a number of um, R3 crushers prior to actually purchasing. Um, and they're obviously all keys track crushers, but we've found that they are very reliable. Um, and the other part of it is the output. We feel that like the output's much higher than, the, than those um, other brands in the market. Um, and we just felt that they're backed up with good service and that's that's really key. There's so many moving parts on these things. You need a team behind you that know the machines intricately and have got the parts to back it up. Yeah, I think a key part of quarrying is um, having a partner that understands um, the process. So uh, we've relied heavily on um, Robin and um, also Craig in the parts department, obviously. Um, but at, this, at our quarry here, we've had a lot of challenges with removing the clays out of the gravel. When, it, when it's wet, it's very hard to get it through the crusher. Um, so we had to come up with a, challenge, uh, a solution to get that, remove that, um, which we've um, been very thankful for Equip2 to, um, to come down, spend a day with us down here, a whole day with us, try and come up with a solution which has worked. So we're thankful for the after sale support and then Obviously, as wear parts wear out, um, we have breakdowns, belts. Um, we're very thankful that they do seem, uh, Equip2 seem to have a very good stock of parts in Marston. 
and they seem to be able to get them here overnight or the next day. So we appreciate that. It's very good. Yeah, so we've had um, our challenges of setting up the quarry here in the machines. Um, the first challenge we came across was it was winter time when we finally got the first extraction done here and um, we found that the clay content of the gravel that we're pulling out of the ground was higher than we had anticipated and so um, running it straight through the crusher it meant that the uh, uh, behind the impact plates was clogging up with clay and we were breaking blow bars and impact plates um, at a too high a rate. Um, we identified this problem very early and um, left us with the uh, scratching our heads as to how we're going to overcome the problem. Um, obviously the K4 comes standard as a three-way split and we we're trying to work out how we, if we take the, use that in front of the impactor, there was the risk there we had to recombine the mid-sized product back into the, into the um, impactor to get the, to get the right grade um, and therefore uh, we were really worse stuck at that point. Um, so that's where I, I rung up Bert and um, had a we had a really long chat, Bert and I, and then it was a three-way with Robin. Um, and then Bert and Robin come down, and we come up with a solution that we would take the, the mid-sized belt off the K4 and we turn it into a two-way split, which is um, how it's operating now. Um, and um, we then put the K4 in front of the, the R3, and this meant that we were removing the fines, the clays, out of it. We took the 20 mil and down out of it, we removed them before it went into the crusher and then we produced fines in the crusher to get our APs. And this overcame our problem um, for our first extraction, meant we could crush through the winter. Um, now it's summer, we can turn around and we can crush straight back into the um, R3. But this was, um, this was a big challenge for us and it felt like, the, for one point there, it felt like we were really stuffed it up and maybe the gravel wasn't processable. But um, thanks to Equip2, we really got through that roadblock and and um, we managed to keep going. So we're um, very thankful for that. And my recommendation would be, if you're going out into quarry, um, would be do your research. You want a company that's um, aligned with your values, I feel. Um, equipped to align with us, a family base like us, a family business. Um, and they're uh, on a growth trajectory like we are. And you want someone that's got the same growth mindset as you do. And that's what we, uh, we look for. And uh, we found that with Equip2. And, uh, I'd have to say do your research because there is some products out there, the tonnage that we get out of these, these, um, this setup is I believe second to none. I think the key difference with um, Equip2 competitors, yeah, competitors is, is the um, ability to be able to ring up and have an honest conversation around um, what's going on and then they, they have a wealth of knowledge um, in the quarrying industry. They've obviously got um, a lot of customers around the country with a lot of different um, quarries and um, they have operators that are very similar to us, pulling, extracting out of the ground like we are, um, and therefore they're able to draw on that knowledge of the challenges that they've had and share it with us. So um, we really appreciate the way that they, they'll explain to us that they've got another customer that's in the same boat as us, and that they, um, they've had these same challenges and this is the way they overcame it. And um, just I think that comes from having a, a, a wide range of customers throughout New Zealand. Um, there's, there's a customer there that'll be similar to you and they'll be able to share that information to help you.